So I'm, I'm here in Lisbon with Mami and Felipe, who are both writers for the Le Cool Guide. Um, Le Cool is a collection of books and newsletters around Europe written by local writers. Um, and today they're going to show me some of their secrets of Lisbon. Lisbon is known for being a city of grandeur and of buildings nicely restored, but São Domingos Church is a little bit different. It's a, it's a church dating from the 13th century, um, but it had a big fire that damaged it a lot in the 1950s, and the damage of that fire was never totally recovered. So it gives, when you go inside, you really feel a very special atmosphere. So, so where are we now? Well, we just arrived in Eduardino. This is a very small and typical liquor store we have here in Lisbon. Uh, we have two drinks here, which you should, everybody should know. One of them is the ginjinha, very typical Portuguese drink made of morillo cherries. And another one is Eduardino liquor. You can only find it here and it's made of anise. Yeah, and this is like the best place for you to come because all, all other places are crowded, but this is like the most typical and best one. It's been here for more than 140 years. So. Very nice. Very good. <laughs> So, what is, explain Lusco Fusco to me. Well, Lusco Fusco is this part of the day after sunset and before night comes and where this beautiful golden light just spreads around the city and it gives you this gorgeous view, you can see it over there. And uh, we are here in the Devastor because it's like the best place to, for you to get to Lusco Fusco idea and it has like a marvelous view of the town so everyone comes here to have a drink and to to really, you know, see the Lusco Fusco. Another, another amazing Portuguese word. Yeah, yeah so. Lusco Fusco, <laughs> yeah. The clubhouse from Alentejo region. Anyone can come here? Yeah, although it looks like a place for royalty, anyone can come here off the street, you know, like to eat and drink, and it's very cheap, and you'll feel like at home, in a palace. <laughs> another good thing about this place, it's really huge. You're just seeing now one of the rooms, the, like the bar room, but it has also an amazing living room, a li beautiful library, the entrance hall is just gorgeous. It's a mixture between grandiosity and decadence. So we are in Prince Prial, in Chinese pavilion. We save the best for the end, because it's the most extraordinary bar we have in Lisbon. You will not find a place like this anywhere in the world. We have, it, it used to be an ancient brothel, but now it's, brothel. yeah, it's, a place full of, of tiny uh, details with a lot of collections from the ancient owner. Yeah, as you can see, every single room it's decorated and full of little models of trams, of military hats, medals, whatever. It's places like this that makes Lisbon so, such a special city. It's not about trendy and, and modern stuff, it's about places like this full of tradition and history.